Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Wretch. I hope you are good. Sorry, it's been a few weeks since I have updated with the video. It's just been crazy. I took a week off. The brand has just been going crazy. We've had so many amazing launches, but I wanted to put all of my favorite autumn looks that I've been sharing so far on Instagram and TikTok in one place. And where better than to share an autumn haul video with you. I've got so many Marks and Spencers goodies to share with you. New look, I've been doing so many amazing looks with new look. Brand new ELR style bits. I've got H&M, Zara, River Island. This is a humongous autumn haul and I'm so excited to share it with you. I've also just reached my target. If you are here for just fashion content, you won't have seen that I've been on a health journey. For the last 10 months, I've been on a health journey to lose two stone and I, spoiler, just got there. So you might notice in this video, I am a size 12 now rather than a 12, 14, 16. So if you didn't know that, you can also have a look at my health journey. I've been documenting the whole 10 months of how I've lost the weight and healthy habits that I've changed. Again, it's never been about what size I wear or how much I weigh. It's just all been about making sure that I'm the most healthy version of myself. And if you wanted to see more about that, it's in the description down below before anyone notices. I've been getting lots of comments recently being like, you've lost loads of weight. So I just thought I would clear that up before we begin. So first of all, I have got to share with you some bits from M&S, which I heard this rumor, I can't remember if it was somebody I know or on TikTok I saw this, but apparently some of the Topshop buyers have now moved to Marks and Spencers. I don't know whether that's true or not, but I am one of those people, if I see it on TikTok, I believe it. <laughs> and the clothes in M&S are amazing right now. I shared this on my YouTube shorts that I went into M&S, had a look around and I was really like, wow, there's so many bits I wanna pick up. Some of you already might know, but I used to be a personal shopper for Topshop for years of my life. So I know their product so well. It breaks my heart that they are no longer with us because I am a Topshop girl, true at heart. And it's just so sad that it's no longer here. But to hear that M&S are kind of bringing through that millennial fashion, I'm here for it. I also posted on TikTok this post that went viral about asking where do millennials shop anymore? And so many people gave suggestions. It was really nice to see so many people said ELR style, which is obviously my brand. But so many said M&S, Next, and kept reiterating the same brands over and over. I'll link that down below in the description if you wanted to add where you think we should shop as millennials, or you're just interested to see what everybody said. But going back to M&S, I have been pleasantly surprised by so many of these pieces. The first one is these jeans, which are their magic shape flare. I shared this on Instagram and so many people are really interested in the sizing of these. I was wearing a size 12 in these and it was a little bit tight on my waist, but the compression was, you know, doing what I needed it to do. So I really rate these jeans. They were really nice for a flare. I'm not somebody who would usually go for a flare, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm into flares at the moment. I love a pointed boot and a flare and like a nice crop jacket and a nice top. And that is what this was delivering. So I teamed it first of all with this like floaty green top. I'm really seeing lots of ruffles around at the moment, which I'm not angry about. I love this Chloe ruffled vibe. I really loved this color for starters, but the actual shape of the top, I love too. It's super nice. Again, everything that I'm wearing and the size will link down below in the description and also what size I am wearing. Some of them are LTK links and some of them are from my own brand, but you'll be able to shop everything down below. Then I got this t-shirt, which I thought would be perfect for work. I'm in this transitional office mode at the moment where going into the office, we're still having aircon wars. Some people are freezing, some people are really hot. So I thought this would be a perfect addition to my office wear, which is a t-shirt, but it's in this like fleecy kind of knitwear material. So my arms are still out, but it's actually still making me feel quite warm. And I've teamed it up with these new trousers from ELR Style, which I called the Mila trousers. We took everyone's feedback from the Olivia trousers and made this new style of trouser called the Mila trousers. We changed the waistband and we also did it in a petite, standard and tall length because so many people said they wanted the tall length back. So we now do these Mila trousers, which have been such a hit with you. And they come in sea turtle, almond milk, and like an off black color. Again, perfect for work. So here I've put together what I wore in the office. 
this t-shirt from M&S with these Mila trousers in sea turtle. There's also a matching bomber jacket that goes with these trousers. But again, if you're somebody who is shorter like me, I'm five foot two, I go for the petite if I'm wearing them with Uggs like I am here, or like a nice smart shoe for work. But if you're somebody who is taller, we also offer the tall now and they are super tall. If you're a tall girl, this is the trouser for you. They, they are super tall. Or if you're somewhere in the middle, then we've got the standard length perfect for you. Then another top that I've got for work was this one from M&S. I wasn't 100% sold on this. I love the neckline, but when I actually put it on with the shaping jeans, I felt like it was actually quite unflattering on my stomach because it was the jeans were like really pulling in and then because the fabric was quite thin, I feel like it wasn't that flattering. It's in this like ribbed knit, which again is really good quality, but it's just super thin and it's a bit transparent. This one was £15, so you do get what you pay for with this, but I just don't think I would ever wear it because I felt really self-conscious in it. Um, when I sat down because it just felt like I wasn't really wearing anything at all and um, so that one is definitely going back another top that I got though from M&S was this leather one which I thought I've actually got it in my back here she did have a matching skirt and um, but I didn't pick it up because I just thought the skirt looked a bit like I don't know it was giving a bit frumpy whereas I thought the top looked really cool to team again with jeans or leather trousers or just any light jean. I thought these would be really cool to wear because brown is very in right now. I did really like it. This is a 12 regular length so I'm guessing they do different lengths in it. It was £29.50 and the, again the fabric and material really good quality from m and I like that it's quite a modern design like in my head sometimes with m and I have like really frumpy or school wear or office wear but they are really trying new things. And that top is one of them where I was just like, oh, I really want to pick that up and try it on. And the fit of it was really nice. Um, so I think I might keep that one. But I feel like sometimes, I don't know about you, brown, I find it really hard to style up. So sometimes I'll go for it, but I'll wear it in the same way. Whereas at the moment, I'm really enjoying pieces that I can wear with so many different items. And with the brand ELR, we've really tried to make sure the colors that we're using are, have that in mind because if I'm styling outfits and I'm struggling, then I'm going to expect for other people to struggle too. So I always have that in mind when I'm designing items, especially basics, because I want it to be so easy for you to pull those items and team them with any staple in your wardrobe. Saying that, I did see somebody recommend, I can't remember who it is off the top of my head on Instagram, these River Island Palazzo jeans. Because I was like, do you know what? I want to have a jean that I can wear with my Uggs and feel like it's low rise, kind of casual, comfortable and I saw somebody suggest these Palazzo River Island jeans because they have an elasticated waistband and I thought this is so a bit of me and if these are amazing I know so many of you are going to absolutely love these jeans when I tell you they were a disaster. I actually asked the girls in the shop, I was like, do they run big or do they run small? And they said they ran big, so I got a 12 regular. The waist actually wasn't too bad, it was the width of the trouser. I am five foot two, as I just said. They, they were made for like a six foot woman, I'm not joking, they were so long and wide, they were just super unflattering. And I'm really disappointed because, like I said, I went into store and I asked like, what size should I get? This is what they recommended for me. So they saw the size of me, they saw the height of me and that's what they recommended and I'll put an actual clip in there but the length of them off my body was actually towards my head so it's such a shame because they did look really really nice um, off the hanger and I saw them on somebody else like I said I can't remember who it is off the top of my head I'm really sorry if it was you um, but I was so disappointed and I loved the concept of them but they were just horrific and I sent them back because I could not believe just how bad they actually looked on me my mother-in-law was in the office that day and she was like wow they, they're interesting, um, which is a shame, but, and I do love River Island. Talking of River Island, a dress to share with you. I have shared on Instagram and TikTok and it's been a massive hit because Burgundy right now is having its moment. If you are under a rock, you will not know, but Burgundy is everywhere. It's having a huge, huge moment, which I love. Even my nails are Burgundy. And I picked this dress up because I personally am enjoying wearing burgundy quite tight. We've got burgundy bodysuits launching for your last style next month, which I'm super excited about because I just think the fit of them makes you feel like Mwah, chef's kiss, made to make you feel good. But I know so many of you don't always like a tight item. People who are fearful of such a bold colour anyway wouldn't go for something tight as well. So I picked this dress up from River Island. 
I got this one in a 12, I think, or was it a 10? I'll leave down below when I check what it is. Um, but it's long sleeved as well, so if you're somebody who's a little bit self-conscious of your arms and you're happy to have your legs out but you wanna wear tights, then this is a great dress for you. I did really like it. it. Had like a drawstring on the waistband, so it pulls you in at the waist, but then it was super floaty. The only thing I would say, if you are really, really big busted, this is probably not for you because it's gonna add a lot of size on your bust and it's going to make you look really top heavy but if you're somebody who either small chested or kind of just like in the middle you wouldn't say you're big chested you wouldn't say you're small chested then this is going to look really great for you and apple shaped bodies this is going to be great because it's going to really like give you a waist because the the top is wide the bottom is wide but the middle comes in and it's just going to show your legs off while having your arms covered so I do really recommend this dress I really liked it and I felt good in it and it felt quite stylish again this like flowy Chloe vibe really French styling which I'm just loving right now and we're really gonna see that follow through into spring summer so it's good to get used to it right now enjoy these like really flowing materials because they're very flattering. But if you are somebody who wants to give burgundy a full go, you're into you know shape where you wanna show your curves off, then our bodysuits that are launching on the 1st of November are for you. I am obsessed. We had some disappointing news that they were supposed to arrive for the last launch. They didn't come in time because they're in the middle of the sea. I'm not gonna go into that because it was a very stressful week for the brand. Um, but I have teamed it here with this PU skirt from New Look and New Look right now, I mean, I am biased because I've worked with them for four years, but there is a reason I've worked with them for four years. I'm obsessed with every single thing they have going on at the moment. Let me just show you these boots that I got today. Oh my God. Wow. Honest to God. New Look, the buyers, wow. They've absolutely excelled this season. This top that I'm wearing right now is from New Look. So many of my go-to autumn basics, coats, shoes, bags, Everything you can think of, there's a good chance it's from New Look. They've even started doing wide calf boots. I just feel like New Look have got us mid-sized girls down. They know who they are talking to. They know who they're designing for and it is us and I love them so much. This video is not sponsored by anybody, it's just me sharing with you what I'm really enjoying right now, but I do work with New Look on Instagram and TikTok, and they have given me a discount code that I use all the time to share on any of my posts. So if you did wanna get a bargain from New Look, you can use my code. I'll link it down below in the description. It works all the time. It's 15% off everything, and it is so amazing to use on their new in stuff because the jeans, this is not part of this video, but I just shot this today, these jeans. I have to share them with you because I'm obsessed. Like the denim, the boots, the coats, like they've just got everything perfection this season. Clap, 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 clap for New Look because they're a brand that is slept on, honestly. They're amazing. And our ELR bodysuit with the PU burgundy skirts. So if you want to do like a full burgundy look, that looks really nice. But then I also put the other burgundy Zinfandel bodysuit from ELR with these Quinn jeans, which are from New Look. So they're very similar to the M&S ones, but they're a little bit cheaper. They've got no magic um, denim in them like the Marks and Spencer's ones do. But generally, I really like the Quinn jeans from New Look. I have them in other colors. I've recommended them a few times in different colors on Instagram, and they are just a really great boot cut jean. And as I said, I cannot get enough of denim from New Look right now. I actually saw Kirsty, who is an interior influencer. She sometimes shares um, fashion outfits. And I saw she shared this with her daughter and she put these New Look jeans on and I was like, I need those jeans. They look so much like my favorite Zara pair that I cannot get anywhere. So these I'm getting next week because I'm obsessed. How good does Kirsty look there? She looks insane. That had to message her and I was like, you look so good in those jeans. I need to buy them. I was influenced. Then continuing on new look, this skirt and top combo. So this is the exact same top that I'm wearing right now, but in this gorgeous like marl brown color. And I cannot get enough of brown. I'm gonna show you. I'm actually wearing brown boots right now. These ones, I, I'm just obsessed. Brown, burgundy, like all these really gorgeous warm autumn tones are just giving so much fun of fashion. I just love this time of year. We can be really experimental, lair. It's like a mid-sized girl dream because nothing is too like out there. Not too much skin on show. Like I can have just like a little bit of skin on show here, but then I have my legs out or I might have tights on and then like a short top. Like there's just so many things that you can mix and match. Whereas in summer, 
don't know about you, I get a bit overwhelmed. I'm like, I've just got so much flesh on show. Whereas autumn, I feel like I just come into my own. I'm just like excited to experiment and layer fashion and just have fun. And I think new look, I mean, I'm really bigging them up right now, but have just got that this season. So these Bardo tops, I have, like I say, black, white cream, and then this mal color and this brownie mal. And I've teamed it with, again, this new look skirt in a faux leather, but it's a brown faux leather. Beautiful. That one is in a size 14. Um, I think I could have done with the 12, to be honest, but I think the sizing at New Look runs really forgiving. Um, and I just love that outfit. It also, I also teamed it with a trench coat from New Look, and I just really like this look, and it's done really well on Instagram and TikTok because so many people are loving that vibe. Part of that video, I also shared some more jeans from New Look with a trench and a striped t shirt, and I just always love a striped t shirt for this time of year. I feel like it just brings outfits together if you are thinking, oh, I don't really know what to wear. But if you are somebody who is not into these autumn royal colors and you're somebody who likes quite light icy tones or you're somebody who is so used to wearing like whiter creams, shades, like if you're blonde and sometimes if you wear like too much of a darker color, it really brings your tone and vibe down. Then cream right now, well, I call it almond, is really popular and looks amazing on so many different skin tones and works so well for office wear. The good thing about almond is it can take you through autumn but then back out for spring. So you're getting a lot of versatility and wear out of these pieces. This is where we have designed the Mila trousers, which I mentioned at the start of this video, to also come in this almond milkshade with this bomber jacket as a co-ord. So you can just throw that on so many times of year where you're like, right, I've got a meeting, I need to just look smart. Or you're traveling, you wanna look smart and sophisticated. I actually wore this in Rome a few weeks ago when we were traveling back and I wanted it to just look put together, but still comfortable. And they are so comfy when I tell you. The waistband, the shape, it's so forgiving. You just feel put together, but just really smart at the same time and comfortable. Team that with one of our bodysuits, but also it works with sandals or trainers for that spring summer vibe as well. So you're gonna get a real lot of wear out of it. But for autumn, I have put it with just a really classic white t-shirt. This one I think is either from M&S or Primark, I can't remember off the top of my head. And then this really oversized H&M coat for that everyday, just like throw on effortless cream, lighter tones. Um, if that's your kind of vibe, you don't you don't wear black or you don't wear too many like royal dark deep tones, you want something that's a little bit lighter, then this outfit is for you and you're gonna get so much wear out of it. That colour also comes in a score and I'm literally wearing it right now. So this outfit is this white bardo top with the creep, the almond skirt and the brown boots I mentioned in like a little brown bag. I love this look so much. And the Scott, our ELR Scots right now have gone crazy. We've done them in this leather, in this PU, which is called Andy Scott. We've done it in almond milk. We've done it in this off black, and we've also done it in sea turtle. The almond milk has the matching bombers, which I've showed you in sea turtle and almond milk. And then the leather looks amazing with black or the off black. They are just going crazy because not only are they a Scott, but they're a skirt at the back because how many times do you think, oh my God, that skirt is amazing. And then you turn around and it's shorts. Nobody wants shorts at the back. Like nobody, especially me. I hate the gorgeous, like really flattering front of a skirt. And then you turn around and it's shorts. Nothing more unflattering on my rear end. So we've designed it that the shorts are inside, so it's helping with chafing, which again is gonna be so good for spring when you wanna get your legs out and sandals. But then right now in autumn, works really well if you wanna wear your knee high boots and not chafing your little skirts because it's a skirt. So our skirts are skirts and shorts to make a proper skirt. But if the skirt is not for you, we've also done PU this season in this gorgeous, longer, flattering ruched stomach skirt. It's called the Andy skirt and it's gonna be so amazing with Christmas party season coming up. So you know all about how amazing our ELR style bodysuits are. They're so compressing, they're like shapewear built in. You do not need to wear shapewear with them because they compress and shape and smooth and just enhance your figure so much. 
So teamed with our Andy Skate, which has the ruching across the stomach, is a game changer. You're gonna feel so good as we enter Christmas party season in this Andy Skate. It works amazing just to go for like a girl's dinner, a date night, it works well with boots. You can really dress it up or down. It has this side split as well, so it's not too restricting. It's just a really amazing staple to have in your wardrobe and get out every single autumn winter. And you know when you're like, oh, I've been invited to this thing, I don't know what to wear. That skirt is always gonna be there for you. You can team it up with so many different things. You could wear it with like an oversized band t-shirt tucked in and trainers. You could wear it to a gig like that or you could wear it to your Christmas party with a long sleeve bodysuit and boots. There's so many different ways to wear this skirt and it is just such an amazing staple to have in your wardrobe that you can team up whatever the occasion is with your favorite bodysuit, t-shirt, you name it. It is gonna be your go-to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it's a really good way for me to just put all the ads that I've been sharing recently on my other pages in one place so it's easy for you to shop. I am gonna be doing a lot more hauls now I am back into the swing of things. Things are starting to calm down in the office and we're gonna be doing our rebrand very soon so I wanna talk more about that. We are having a sample sale, warehouse sale at our Leeds office next week, I think it is. So if you're interested in that, make sure you follow in the ELR page. I'll link it down below because we'll be having some amazing deals. And then a lot of the brands that are kindly gift me things that I've shot and I don't need to keep everything will also be available and that will be getting donated to charity that the money that we sell of those brands. Some amazing, amazing brands that I'm so lucky to receive. A lot of their stuff, like I said, I don't need 60 coats, will be available at the warehouse sale along with so many amazing ELR style bits. But the stuff from other brands will be getting it donated to charity. So thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it this far. Any questions, let me know in the comments. I am back. I'm trying to keep on top of comments as much as I can. But please bear in mind, I have an Instagram, a TikTok, a YouTube, and a full-time business to run with 10 members of staff. So it does get a little bit crazy at times. It's nothing personal if I don't reply straight away. I am trying my best. Love you so much, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.